Hi, this is Minkowski, let me present Nona, the chess-playing LEGO robot. We'll play a game of chess and I'll explain how she operates. So I open up strong with a pawn to e4. Nona enters the stage, she's a bit slow, so let's speed her up. There, knight to g6. Knight seems a good idea, I'll try and do the same. With the game started, we'll take a look at how Nona understands what move I'm making so that she can decide how to respond to it. Zooming out from the scene, you can see that I got a desktop lamp lighting up the board. Mounted on this lamp, there is a webcam. As soon as Nona has made a move, she takes a picture of the board. Here is an example from a different game. The webcam doesn't quite align with the board, but doesn't have to. After taking the picture, Nona starts a motion detection routine. She waits for my hand to move in, and then waits again until there is no more motion. Once Nona judges that I made my move, she snaps another picture. A pixel by pixel difference of the picture before and after reveals two blobs. Superimposing a grid and knowing the current state of the game, Nona can work out that I moved my queen from d1 to d3. Back in the game, I've just moved my knight. Nona responds with a pawn to d5. Let's knock that out. Nona apparently wants to return the favor. She gently but firmly discards my pawn. She then moves in with her knight. Oh no! Knight down! Okay, like any old Grandmaster, Nona is a little fumbly, we'll occasionally drop a piece, maybe once per game or so. Let's knock out her knight and pretend it never happened. This brings us to the mechanics. Nona has a total of uh, three next motors. There is one hidden inside her body, rotating the upper arm. Of uh, the two motors that you can see, one rotates the lower arm. Rotating the upper and lower arm together allows Nona to reach every square on the board. The gearing leaves a little bit of wiggle room as you can see, and so to get an accurate positioning I got a rubber band keeping the lower arm as far in the counterclockwise direction as possible. The upper arm is under a lot of stress, so it doesn't move further than it has to. This means that I can compensate for the play by making the motor rotate approximately one additional turn every time it changes direction. The other visible motor is for the grabbing mechanism. The way the grabbing works is that when the arms have reached hold of a piece, they can't move any further and so they automatically start rotating around the transmission axis, lifting the piece. This is the same principle as used in one of the builds of the legendary Technic Control Center, set 8094, so go check it out if you're interested. Now on with the game, Nona decides to steal my knight and uh, move in with her queen. Well, I've got a queen too, let's present her. Nona brings in her other knight, this time she's determined not to let it fall. Well, if you haven't figured by now I'm the worst chess play ever, at this time I'm just randomly throwing in another pawn. Nona is fond of her knights, she now threatens my queen. Well, she tries again with a bishop. Nona knows what she's doing. She is playing to win. Her brain is in my laptop. The image recognition and all the computations are done in Java. She uses the Lejos API to remote control the motors. Nona feeds my move into a chess engine called Cuckoo Chess and performs the counter move that it comes up with. Cuckoo Chess has an ELO rating of almost 2600, meaning it will beat you and your uncle. On to the end game. Nona is killing one of my pawns with her mighty knight. This puts me in check. I have to move my king, it takes one step ahead. Nona checks me again with her queen. My king tries to run away, but it doesn't get very far because kings can only move one step at a time. And Nona puts an end to his misery. Checkmate and 10 moves. Thank you so much for watching.